Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the recent uh, bi weekly contest 38 count substrings that differ by one character. So basically, the idea here is that okay, if you have a naive naive solution where where you know it's going to be n to the fourth because basically what you would do is just you know for starting character in s uh for starting or starting in index in t right or maybe another way is you know for length of you know in l you know from uh from zero dot 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 to l where l is just like the smaller is smaller of length s and length t right um then and we check if the delta of you know i'm writing pseudocode obviously uh if the delta of from s sub i don't know some i starting index i starting index j if this from s sub i dot 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 to s sub i plus length and s sub j or, or t sub j sorry dot 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 s or t i keep saying s t plus length is equal to one we we do some increment count right so if we do it this way it's going to be n to the fourth because you know this is o of n this is o of n this is o of n and this comparison is o of n right um but the key thing to notice for this problem is that this function is just equal to s sub i dot 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 s sub i plus length minus one t sub j dot 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 t to j plus length minus one excuse the weird notation it's not pythonic i know but it's just to say you know this is the, the string from i to i plus length right uh, plus you know uh the delta of s sub i plus length t sub j plus length right that means that the character the ca we we basically take the last character one off at a time and then see in dynamic programming kind of way you don't have to necessarily think about dynamic programming but that allows you to kind of prove the recurrence where okay now because of this we can reduce this to o of one because because this is just equal to to this and and we could pre-calculate this and yeah and we could pre-calculate this you know in a previous loop right so that's basically the idea to get this from n to the fourth to n to the cube which is basically the entire problem because n is equal to 100 because n to the 100 to the fourth is 100 million which is probably too slow i didn't test it during the contest if it's fast enough then that's amazing but uh mm -hmm. but yeah once you get to n to the cube it is good enough and basically that's what I did with here. Um, I start with, and yeah. And the key thing to note is that you can also rewrite these loops, it turns out, that way. So that it looks like this. And then now it's easier to see what I did here, which is that I start from any character, starting index from S, starting index from J. I start with count zero, 0, which is the count number of characters that are different. I just... I mean, doing contest code is always going to be a little bit weird with the variable names. Uh, number of different characters. We we exit if the loop if um if we if we go our bounds and yeah and if they're not the same we add one to the delta and the delta is equal to one we increment total and we could actually and we could actually um early terminate or early break th this loop because if count goes over one then you can early terminate but we didn't do that and it's fine um yeah so this is just three four loops in the end but and it's easy to read it this way and be like oh yeah i should have thought of that but i think having the right fu uh fundamentals and foundations and way of thinking about it is kind of uh you know a, a cool way to kind of help you solve other problems in the future and that's why i kind of try to explain this um yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, thanks. For, you can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next.
Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me know what you think about this explanation. Um, doing a little bit live. So yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And I will see y'all next uh, problem. Bye-bye.